all right everyone welcome to today's random video this one i'm pretty excited about because they actually gave me a chance to review soundcore's new life q35 headphones so for starters i didn't make a comparison between life q30s and the bows of the xm4 sony xm4s but if you want to see that go ahead and leave a comment uh, I'll probably make a comparison if you guys want to see this and any of those there. But we will do a small comparison between the Life Q30s and the Life Q35s. Um, but we're just going to go over the external feature of what it's being claimed. And the biggest thing I see right now that's being claimed is smart wearing detection. There we go. Um, which, from my understanding, and what I'm assuming is when you take them off, it'll probably pause the song. Um, they both have everything else, 40 hours of play time, which is great. Crystal clear calls, which is great. Um, NFC fast pairing. And the biggest one that a lot of people love is you do five minutes of charging and you get four hour playback time. But um, let's go ahead and open it and see what we have. Packaging is always, it's always really nice from these guys. This one is an actual open box. Uh, this one was a, like that. But anyway, we're not here for the packaging. It's on core logo. First thing you get greeted with is the case and a bunch of instructions that we don't need to read. Now the first difference that I can already tell is the casing. This is more of a soft, like I guess soft protection and the material kind of like denim, I guess, fabric type. This one is more of a suede, whatever. I mean, let's not get all caught up in the casing. All right, okay. Uh, they're not black. They look like a, they have like a blue hue to it. Maybe. Let me get my. I'm sure you can see the the different color in that. You can see the color. I like it though. It's pretty good. Um. Ear cups are still the same. Let's see. Yeah, they look about this, feel about the same. Ear cups also feel about the same. Actually, these feel, these, these feel a little bit more denser. Um, I don't know if it's because I've already used these you know, it's kind of broken in. But these feel a little bit harder. Again, not hard as it's gonna hurt, just dense. Um, oh, I just noticed the feel. Oh, the feel is different. This one you could tell it is plastic, but it, it does have a coating of some sort. So that, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can feel it up here a lot more. They're both plastic has a nice soft touch. Actually, I think, let me see. Yeah, they kind of feel like this too. These are the Sony's. These are plastic, but it has a, a coating on it that makes it feel really soft. So buttons, looks like we have about the same as the last time, the NFs, uh, excuse me, the noise canceling button, the power button, USB-C charging, which is always great, future-proof. We're getting into that now. I like seeing more companies just putting stuff out with USB-C charging, aux cord, uh, volume, up, down, and your play pause. Which also, uh, if it's like the first one, it should let you skip tracks. Got a nice little pouch. I don't think the first one came with the pouch, but if you like pouches, here we go. Uh, airplane adapter. I don't think we use that anymore, but anyway. USB-C, 
And oh, look at that. A mic. It comes with a mic. The first one didn't, so that's a positive too. Your aux cord comes with a microphone now. So one of the ways that you compare your headphones with your phone, smartphone or your computer or whatever, any Bluetooth device is obviously the Bluetooth um, connection. Or you could use their NFC connection, which is a lot easier. Go ahead and turn on your NFC feature on your smartphone. Hit it. You get the prompt. Select yes. And it says pairing um, Live q 35s Also, these support dual pairing um i guess connection so like right now i could have it paired on the computer and on my cell phone so whenever it rings if my cell phone rings i'm able to just pick it up it'll automatically go there and then when i hang up i'm able to listen to the audio back on my laptop on my computer or the other device that's connected which is pretty cool these have the option to use the uh, right ear cup when you cup over it to turn off the noise canceling or the transparency mode. So here we go. It's already connected. As you can see, it says noise canceling. I go ahead and hover over for one, two seconds. Transparency mode. Get off of it. Come back to it. Noise canceling mode. So if you don't want to use the noise canceling uh, button here, you could just hover over, and it'll it'll change your uh, your selection. And just as expected, these work great. They are loud, um, just like those. Now, what I forgot to mention is, if you look at the box over here, it supports LDAC. So I, I could tell the difference between both of these, the 30s and the 35s, a lot clearer. Just like the brother, the younger brother, these are bass heavy. Um, so go ahead and download the Soundcore app, which you could, it has a tons of features, tons of presets. Um, if you want, you can look at my other video on how to pair that and how to use that. Uh, my personal is the piano mode there, but they are clearer. They're really, really great and loud. I'm gonna go ahead and play something so you can hear how loud it is. Um, it are, they're pretty good, but it's gonna be for a couple of seconds so I don't get gigged for it. Yeah, if you want to use the inline microphone to have the options to go forward and reverse in the track, uh, you could do that or you could use the onboard buttons that are here. Um, pretty self-explanatory, the up volume brings your volume up. Yeah, that's loud. Your down volume, it's a single tap. Now, if you hold the plus button, it'll go forward. Well, let me do this one first. If you uh, press and hold for one second, the down volume, it won't go to the previous track. It'll just go to the beginning. See? And if you double, double, uh, double press it, it does nothing. See, it just plays with the volume. If you press and press and then hold, it still does nothing. So, here we go. Sound core. If you're listening, make this actually go to the previous track. Because if you press and hold the plus button, it goes to your next track. You see that? But once again, let's fast forward a little bit. Press and hold the minus. It just goes to the beginning of the track, not your previous track. So yeah, it's just something to be mindful about for now. Maybe that'll change it if we get a lot of people uh, telling them about it. But uh, those are the buttons on the uh, the headphones themselves. Okay, so this is uh, the Soundcore app. We're going to cover this uh, fairly quick. Um, if you want to see more about it, you could go to my other video with the Live Q30s. But set it up, have the Bluetooth on, connect it to the Soundcore app. And what's great about this is if you go to the equalizer, I have mine on custom, but if you go to default or uh, the arrow, you get to select a lot of these presets my favorite is the piano and the lounge the piano and the lounge for me sounds amazing um, so you could go ahead and 
pick that or you could do the custom one hit the arrow and you know you mess with the levels on however you want them like i said but if you feel like they're base heavy go ahead and start messing with that um so that's pretty cool on that uh here's your noise cancellation it's the same thing with the other one is noise cancellation transparency mode i don't know you can hear it let's see normal transparency noise cancellation then you got your indoor your outdoor depending on what uh, what frequencies you want to let in or you want to leave the leave out there so yeah that's pretty much the app I think the other products had what it's called here ID this does not have them um, so Soundcore again if you're listening if you're gonna watch this video uh, I think here ID is pretty good and what here ID is it uh, it's like you take an audiogram test when you hear the levels or you hear the certain beep you know you, with the app and it customizes the frequencies for your ears um, and this is new though sleep mode just says use a mix of your favorite ambient sounds to improve sleep um, haven't messed with that pretty much I don't think anybody is really now the first flaw that I've come across uh, I'm not sure if it's an operator error on my part but it's the smart wearing uh, detection technology so like the XM4s, unlike I should say the XM4, where you can see the sensor in there. This one, you can't see it. So I'm sure it's in there, um, but you can't physically see it. Um, I've had uh, minor issues where it won't resume the playback upon putting the headphones back on your head. You know, it'll pause when you take them out all the time. But when you put them on, um, it's a hit or miss for me. Sometimes I get them to play, sometimes I don't. Um, so I don't know if those things, that sensor can be adjusted or if they could upgrade this to, uh, you know, kind of figure that part out. They're, they're, that's the only thing as of now, the first flaw, uh, which is one of their major um, claims. I'm going to go ahead and show you how they work. So this is the sound quality from the Soundcore Live Q35s. I am just using an app here on the phone uh, that lets me record on the Bluetooth headset. So if you like them, if you don't like the sound, let me know down below in the comment. And if you have any suggestions on how I should record these, also let me know. Make sure you reach out to Soundcore and let them know how their products are doing. So once again, this is the audio quality from the Bluetooth headset Soundcore Live Q35s. Now that was the internal mic test, or I should just say the microphone test on these headphones. Um, as far as voice calls, I was told that they sound pretty good. I was not muffled. They didn't have like an echo behind me, behind that other person. Right off the bat, these are, you know, came out with the fixes better than these. I remember these had a couple of issues, and but these right off the box um, sound pretty good as far as voice calls. So kudos to that two thumbs up okay so that wraps up the review or my review of the new soundcore life q35s if you like them go ahead and grab yourself a pair uh, if you have any questions about it go ahead and leave me a comment down below would i buy these instead of those yes i would um they're minor changes but i, I audio quality mic quality all of that stuff would I would I prefer these over those? Yes, I like them. There you have it, Soundcore Life Q35s. Grab yourself a pair.